I am Samuel 1, and this is wisdom today. Romans chapter 8, I read from verse 28 through 30. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. For whom he do for new, he also predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestine, this he also called. Whom he called, this he also justified. And whom he justified, this he also glorified. I am talking about destiny. A lot of people are confused about the issue of destiny. I would like to define what destiny is to you. It is important, if you are going to walk in wisdom, to fully understand what destiny actually means. When you understand the meaning of destiny, and you are able to discover and fulfill your destiny, then you can live a fulfilled life. There are many non-Christian definitions of destiny. For example, Non-Christians believe that everything that is happening, whether good or bad, is destiny. Now, that is not biblical. Because we know there are powers of the kingdom of darkness that are responsible for many things that are happening. The Bible says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. That's Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10. Principalities and powers, all right, spiritual wickedness in their high places. We know there are powers and forces of darkness that are behind a lot of events that are happening today in our world, especially all the bad and negative ones. But some people believe that, well, it is God. You know, whatever happened must be God. All the evils happening is God. All the good happening is God. And all the cries and weeping, it is God. And to them, when it happens to anybody, that is his destiny. Now, that is not a balanced understanding of the scriptural perspective about destiny. To some people, destiny means that whatever will be, will be. In other words, destiny is what a man cannot do anything about it. If a man is destined to live a poor life all his life, destined to be tormented all his life, destined to, to live in penury and sickness and weeping, destined to be a thief or a rapist or a pedophile, destined to, to cause havoc in the society, then that is what God wants for him to do. And there's nothing he can do about it. Now, that is not scriptural. The Bible made us to understand that all good things and perfect things come from above. Christian destiny is not in support of all kinds of evil and things that are taking place. So what exactly is the biblical definition of destiny? Number one, destiny is, the, is God's plan for a man or a people or a city or a nation or a, plan or a family. That is destiny. The plan of God. The plan of God. And my friend, the plan of God is good. So number one, destiny is the plan of God. So to know destiny is to know the plan of God. Number two, destiny is the place of any man in that plan of God. Destiny is the individual's role in that master script of God. You see, the Bible says that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. Now, God is the writer, is the producer of the film of life, the movie of life. And in every movie, every actor has a part. Now, a, the, a man's part and a man's place in the master script of life is destiny. Everybody sent to this world has a part. Everybody sent to this world has a role. Now, when you know your role in God's master plan and your role in the script of life, that is destiny. Number three, destiny is the, 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 the program of God for a man that covers from the beginning of his life to the end of his life. That is destiny. From the beginning to the end. The program of God that covers from birth to death. 
that is destiny. Our God is a master planner. He has a program for everybody. A program he has destined. I mean, he has, he has fashioned. And he has, he, has, he has decided from the beginning of creation. And that brings me to number four. What is destiny? Destiny is what God has ordained a man to be. That is destiny. What he has ordained from the beginning of creation. What he has ordained somebody to be, that is destiny. What is destiny? Destiny, according to Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. He says, I know the thoughts I think towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you an expected end. So number five, destiny is the thought of God. God has a thought. And it's a good one. The things that God is thinking for you, the thing that God is thinking for humanity, what is thinking for a nation, a city, a tribe, a group of people, according to his master program, and it's good, that is destiny. What is destiny? If you check other scriptures that I'm not going to have time for because of the time we have in this broadcast, which I will continue from next week, I mean next broadcast, you will discover what God actually means by destiny. I want to pray this prayer for you. Listen. It is my prayer. That the plan of God for you shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. The program of God for you shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Whatever the devil has planned for you will never come to pass. Only the will of God, that which is in the heart of the master, shall come to pass in your life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I want you to do something today. Pray a very simple prayer. Say, Father, let me walk in your destiny for my life. Father, show me what my place is in humanity. Show me what my path is, is in the plan of your plan for God. Show me my script, my, my path in the script of life, and I will fulfill it in Jesus' name. God bless you. My name is Samuel Wan. And please don't forget, Jesus Christ the Son of God is coming very soon. I will see you in the next broadcast. Shalom.